take your time, Morales. It's easy to rush through your first case. And if you're gonna throw up, try to avoid the body. You know you're lucky? Most partners give their rooks a triple homicide. Me, I'm handing you a suicide. The gardener in the greenhouse. You should give me a fucking medal. Or at least a hand job. What you got there, Curvy? God damn it, Morales. You and your fucking soft spot for every Every what? At least tell me you got something. No, nothing. Write it up as a suicide pending the lab work. I am sorry I am cutting into your game time. Let's wrap it up quick and I can still get back for a second and a half. Hey! What the fuck are you doing? Get away from that! She gets feisty when she hasn't eaten. Shall I prepare some tacos? Would you be needing me for anything else? What exactly are your duties here, Alfred? I care for the house, manage the staff, whatever madam asks of me. Does that include killing? Ah, the butler in the greenhouse with a candlestick. Something along those lines? Does she have any family? No, her only son died in his 20s. That'll do for now. So what'd they find in his stomach anyway? Paraquat. Who the fuck eats weed killer to off himself? Why don't you just walk in front of the light rail like normal people? Morales. Why are you trying to turn this suicide into a homicide? The Emmy's willing to rule it a suicide, plus it makes sense. Gardener, weed killer. What the hell are we doing back here? He couldn't have killed himself. He, he had a good job. He supported his wife and baby Carolina in El Salvador. He didn't speak English. He could never leave the property. All he did was garden. And he was so good at it. Look, the guy's practically broke. There's no signs of a struggle. There's no robbery. He didn't kill himself. How can you be so fucking sure? How do you know the name of his kid? You know this fucker. Who is he? Who is he to you? He's my brother. Jesus fucking Christ. You can't be the primary on your own brother's murder investigation. Any judge hears that, any case you've built, is getting thrown out. You are fucked. Why the fuck didn't you tell me? Because it looked like a suicide. Because I knew you wouldn't investigate. All the faith in the world, but none for your partner. You're damn right I wouldn't have investigated. Not like this. You know who this bitch is? Don't tell, detective. Jesus Christ. I trust that you've heard from my lawyer. This is still a crime scene. If the rest of my prized jade plants freeze tonight, Don Shapiro will make sure that you spend the rest of your career working evidence control. You know a lot about police work, don't you? Unlike you, it pays well for a mystery writer to know about police work. But please, do go on, detective. I love to hear people talking about me. Perhaps you would take offense that my novels depict the bumbling nature of the Baltimore Police Department. Or is it um, that you don't like the idea that I make more money solving pretend crimes than you do solving real ones? I'm sorry we bothered you, ma'am. We can finish up outside. No, we can't. Morales! Listen to me, you little bitch. I'm taking over as primary, I'm writing this as a suicide, and I'm writing you up with CID. Again, 
We're sorry to have disturbed you, ma'am. How dare you? You touch my plants again and I'll... I'll have your badge. I'll see you back at the station. You can find your own way home. I think you'll find in your case that you have fewer options. What did you mean? Tampering with evidence. Tainting your first case. Not an official or auspicious start, eh, Arthur? Certainly not, ma'am. And how do you know that? Quite pretty. A regular Latin Venus, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Cameras. But a bit slow. As an ox, ma'am. Why did you kill him? Daniel was excellent with flowers. But not with trees. My great-grandfather planted that beech at the start of the Civil War, and Daniel killed it in one day. You kill him over a fucking tree? I warned him not to over-fertilize. Of course, I didn't kill him for the tree. You'll go to prison for this. Oh, I think you've seen to it that Daniel's death is marked as a suicide. Proper planning is important to a mystery writer. Why are you doing this? Well, the sales of my last novel were shameful. Thus, I needed a lasting controversy to afford the lifestyle to which I had become accustomed. Your suspicious death and the publicity around it should bring enough interest and excitement to bring my novel back up to the top of the bestsellers. You'll go to prison for this. I suspect there's enough here for any jury to have reasonable doubt. Your refusal to recuse yourself from your brother's death, tampering with evidence, threatening her on videotape. Her lawyer will argue suicide. Seems it runs in your family. Oh, I'm certain the jury will find her not guilty after a long televised trial. Call 911 after she's done. But I'd better call the governor and tell him personally how upset I am about this whole thing.